67 our highs both days. The last time we've done that, by the way, back to back was back in 1947. That's how exceptional it was. Now, outside, we've come back to reality, but it's still a nice night. 60 degrees in Beaverton. You know what our average high is this time of year? 59. So, I mean, we are right there. We're where we should be. And actually, we were five degrees warmer than average in Portland and Salem and many places east of the Cascades with 70s in Bakerfield, uh, Baker City and over also in Pendleton. Well, today and tonight, onshore flow has increased. And that's what's giving us all the clouds that kind of battling occasional sun breaks and otherwise a lot of clouds around, right? Over the weekend, we had a dry northeast breeze on Saturday in particular, and this carried 70s and 80s all the way down. To the waters of the Pacific. So that's a wind that generates heat, but that thing is out of here for now. What we do have going on in far eastern Oregon tonight is some thunderstorms going on around Burns. You guys have had some rumblers. We'll see if maybe some more form over towards Bend as the evening wears on, possibly Baker City as well. You guys are right on the bubble there. It's all linked to an area of low pressure that's going to be moving away. Meanwhile, this area of high pressure. Doesn't look like much on the satellite, but it's going to gradually build its way in here, and that will slowly warm our temperatures tomorrow, and then they kind of pop on Wednesday as we get some more sunshine. But that doesn't last very long, and it's not going to be like the weekend, so don't get your hopes up on that one. Here we go, 7 a.m. tomorrow morning, lots of clouds all the way up to the Cascade Crest. Notice the east side, a lot of sunshine. We go through the afternoon, the clouds break up, so it's a partly sunny day tomorrow. As we get into Wednesday, brief morning clouds. Now we're in the rest of Wednesday. This is in the afternoon. Should be mostly sunny around here. Maybe a high cloud or two. That is it. So that'll be our 70 degree day. And then as we get into Thursday, we're going to start getting the rain again. And this looks like this system opens the door to cooler air and much wetter weather throughout the rest of Washington spring break. And I'll tell you, we've had our driest start to a year since records began in Portland, downtown, in Hillsboro, in Salem, and McMinnville. These are the rain totals we've had so far this year. And I've had some of you email and say, is there a drought concern? Well, maybe in far southern Oregon, but here in the northwest part of Oregon and southwest Washington, our snowpack is right about average. So that's really going to carry us this year anyway, and we'll keep an eye on what happens in the rest of the state. All right, morning clouds and drizzle in the 50s, and then we'll see mid to upper 60s in the valley. Same thing, though, morning clouds and drizzle with some increased clearing in the afternoon. Partly sunny on the east side, and we'll see morning clouds through the gorge, otherwise a decent day, and almost 50 up on Mount Hood. What if you're staying here in the metro area? We start out on the mild side, I mean, right around 50, and we end up at 67 tomorrow afternoon thanks to some extra clearing. That'll be about three degrees warmer than today. And 67 in Beaverton as well, 66 in Tigard. If you're over in Damascus, 65 for your high temperature tomorrow. And most of us starting, you know, around 50, which is mild, and we blow past our average high of 59 right about lunchtime tomorrow. So we'll be about that warm at lunch. And then as we get some more sunshine in the afternoon, that helps to warm us. Now, I said Wednesday is going to be the warmest day. 70, we'll see if that's warm enough. It may be warmer than that, actually. But then Thursday, it turns wet and breezy. And I think Friday through Monday, we're probably going to pick up more than an inch of rain during that time, which, I mean, let's oh, face it, boo. we're yeah. overdue, <laughs> right? But if you're on Washington spring break right now, you're saying, come on. Yeah. But that's what's going to happen. All right. Well, at least you, you always tell us <laughs> hey, the truth. That's right. And the weekend okay. was great. It yes. was. Thank Thanks. you, Bruce.